Hello everyone, I'm Brian Herring. Uh, you may not recognize me right away, and that's okay, because I'm normally tucked up away in the balcony sitting at the soundboard. Out of sight and out of mind is usually my best bet because I prefer not to be in the spotlight. Uh, I didn't mind so much doing the Monday Morning Minute because it allowed me to work on it at home alone. Uh, you're probably watching my 20th take to get the video just right. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about tithing. Don't worry, because this is pre-recorded. I can't see you roll your eyes or hear you groaning. Also, full disclosure, I'm not an expert on the subject. I've always given to the Lord in some form or another, but someone that I know that knows the Bible very well once told me that a tithe is 10% of all of my earnings. If I did not give a full 10% to God, I wasn't actually tithing. Well, I can say that I'm still a work in progress. Paul has asked us for several weeks now to close our hand, making a tight fist, and to contemplate what we need to let go of in order to let justice roll down. Perhaps money is something that could be let go of, or perhaps time is something that could be let go of in order to serve God in some way. Leviticus chapter 27 verse 30 says, Every tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the trees, is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. I want to share a story with you. This is a true story that happened about 10 years ago or so. A family member of mine that grew up in church, uh, after entering adulthood, spent a long time away from church. I don't know exactly how long he was away from church, but after a lot of years, he did start regularly attending church again. After hearing a sermon on tithing, the family member felt a nudge to give 10% of his earnings to God. Money has always been very tight, and anything extra simply did not exist. At the time, this family member had four or five dogs, a cat, an iguana, a ferret, and probably something else that I'm forgetting about. Uh, their household is down to a much more manageable amount of pets now. But anyway, he said that he genuinely did not know how they were going to make it to their next paycheck if they gave that amount to the church. But he had made the decision to trust God. The next Sunday, he took his money and he gave it as a tithe to the church. That afternoon, when they got back home from church, they came home to a mess on their bedroom floor, uh, which I suspect that that's something that uh, happened frequently with all of the pets that they had running around at the time. But anyway, this mess was a shattered mason jar that normally sat on top of their dresser. They used the jar to throw spare change into at the end of the day when they were emptying out their pockets. Out of curiosity, once all of the glass was picked up, they counted the change. The change was exactly $1 more than what they had just given to the church. Did one of their animals knock the jar onto the ground? I'm sure that's exactly what happened. Is it coincidence that the dollar amount was more than what they had just tithed? I'll let you decide that for yourself. Have a good week.